Hello and welcome to On Fire here on Daily Mirror Online. I'm Isparan Ratnam. Our guest today is a parliamentarian and former minister, leader of the Tamil Progressive Alliance and a member of the Samagi Janabalawegia Manu Ganeshan. Mr. Ganeshan, welcome to the program. Thank you. I'm pleased to be with you. So Mr. Ganeshan, let me uh, start off by uh, asking you uh, about uh, the Tamil issue, I mean, this uh, is, is still something that is, that is dragging on for years and years. Uh, you represent uh, the Tamil community uh, in the Western province, as well as uh, the upcountry Tamils. Where do you th see the situation right now? I and mean, have, have uh, the Tamils uh, got uh, at least part of what they were uh, expecting? Yes, uh, this is a large uh, um, question, I should say. Um, well, the Tamils uh, live in this country are uh, numbering about 3.5 million. About 50% live in the Northern Asian provinces. Rest live outside Northern Asian provinces. In the outside Northern Asian provinces, in the country as well as Western provinces, Sabargamuva, Uva, and the Northwestern provinces, they live. So we mostly represent, my party represent mostly the Tamils live outside. Northeastern provinces and TNA and other parties represent Tamils living in the uh, Northeastern provinces. It is a kind of arrangement because most of the Tamils live in the outside Northern East provinces, live with the single communities. So the terrain is different, political terrain is different. So we engage and employ different strategies uh, so that we, uh, without antagonizing the single community or other communities who, who are not Tamils, but at the same time, insist upon uh, the Tamil rights and uh, try to live as Sri Lankans with them. So therefore, I should say that now, generally, the Tamil issue, which as you call, or let us say, national issue, or um, national question of what Sri Lankan, should, be, should come to a natural end only by winning over the minds and arts of the uh, single communities which we are living with in this country. At the same time, on the other hand, singleist leaders also, politicians also, should do their best to win over the uh, minds and arts of the Tamil community. So this is slowly, steadily, I think it's happening. I believe in tomorrow. But uh, Mr. Ganeshan, uh, um, when you were in the government, uh, this was when uh, Maitri Palasiri Serum was president, uh, Y'all were looking at uh, pushing a solution uh, to address uh, the key issues of, of the Tamils, yet that solution never came about. Prior to that as well, there were various discussions going on uh, to push for a solution and that never happened. Do you think that, you know, we would see a solution anytime soon? Yeah, we will have to work towards it. I am an optimist, so I will always towards, look towards tomorrow. If not is tomorrow, we have tomorrow or next week, next month, next year, next decade. So we'll have to work hard because nothing is wrong by working hard. We'll have to have a dream. I have a Sri Lankan dream. The dream where the Sinhalese, Tamils, Muslims, and Hindus, Buddhists, Christians, or Catholics, you say, and people who follow the Islamic path should live together as Sri Lankans. My idea is always that we'll have to. Uh, uphold, develop, and strengthen the Sri Lankan identity. That is very important. First of all, it's Sri Lankan identity. I'm a Sri Lankan, you are a Sri Lankan, we're all Sri Lankan first. Then next, let, them, let us be uh, call us ourselves Tamils or Sinhalese or Buddhist or Hindus, the religion or the linguistic identity or religious identity or anything else can come second, third, fourth. But first it should be Sri Lankan. So we will reach that target, I should say, because the new generation is just coming in, in Sri Lanka. The Sinhalese, the Tamils, the Muslims, the Sri Lankan new generation, youngsters are looking at us, looking at this country, looking at our Sri Lankan community. That man, I should say, I'm confident about it. What are the what are the core issues uh, facing faced by the people outside the North and East, the Tamil speaking people outside the North and East? What are the core issues that they have? What are the core concerns uh, that they have? Use of Tamil language. It's a core issue, one of the core issue. Now we all keep on speaking about 13th Amendment, but we conveniently forget about 16th Amendment. 16th Amendment talks about the language rights. It has recognized, I mean, 13th Amendment 
fought in, recognized Tamil also as another official language and a national language, and English as the link language. Sri Lanka is officially a trilingual country. We are single and Tamil are official national languages, the function performed, recognized, and English as the uh, English as the link language. But that's all. Then 16th Amendment recognized Tamil also as a language of education, language at courts, language at administration. See, every Sri Lankan is entitled to obtain uh, oral or written responses from any government institution, whether it's central or provincial or local, uh, in his or her choice of the language. Either it should be Tamil or Sinhala. But it is not happening practically, but there is law. So these laws should need, don't need to be um, implemented. Now also there are already about 400 plus uh, Pradhiya Sabha, that is the uh, Pradhiya Lekam Kari area, that is the Divisional Secretariat areas. About a uh, number of about 30 to 40 have recognized as uh, uh, bilingual uh, divisions. Many of us are unaware of this, uh, uh, this, this message information has not gone to the people. Uh, neither going to the uh, administrators, that is the government uh, uh, administrators, but it is a law, so we will have to implement this. So because the uh, so the national issue commenced in 1950s when Singhala was uh, recognized as the only official language, so it's, it all started there. So let us uh, start from there itself. Let us bring the equality amidst the languages, and that that would be a prelude to the. A political solution, which you are talking about, we are dreaming of. What is the opposition doing uh, to push uh, for a, a solution for the Tamils, uh, be it the Samagri Janabalavegya or even your party, the TPA, the Alliance? Uh, what are y'all doing to actually ensure that a solution to these issues faced by the Tamils is given sooner than later? Now, I just spoke about the dreams of TPA, Tamil Progressive Alliance. So when I was the minister of the last government, I was my, the, the language was one of my subjects which came under me, national integration, all those came under me, I did my best. Uh, so that's our policy, as I said now. 16th Amendment, in, interesting one, 16th Amendment is one of our key policy. Maybe TNA will talk about 13th Amendment very much, but we will talk about 16th Amendment very much. So when you combine, the 13th and 16th Amendment should be uh, the, the laws, bylaws, so law, laws and bylaws which were brought into our constitution. Now, these are which already law in this country. Constitution. Now, we are when you talk about the political solution, we are talking about new laws. New laws. So, the, 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 so the, the new laws are such like the, the, the bird in the tree. So, these are banned in the hand. So, we're talking about them. Let us implement this. But once you implement the language parity, those in this country, I think about 70% of the so-called national issue will be over. That will bring understanding between both uh, communities. Now, you see, when I was the minister, I uh, started, I, uh, that's what, that was my dream. I started a, a project like um, I, 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 I conduct a survey in the schools because already right now, apart from the mother tongue and the English language, every child is supposed to learn the uh, third language, the single child to learn sing Tamil language, Tamil child children to learn uh, single language from grade six to grade nine onwards. So when we had a survey, my minister had a survey to see that there are not less than 6,000 uh, shortages, vacancies uh, for the language teachers. So I started a dream project that is called the second language trainers. So I started the project, first batch was 1,300 uh, uh, teachers, trainers, Rent. I got, I, with all difficulties, fought back in the cabinet and got, got, got the allocations from the finance ministry. Then my friend Mangala was finance minister. I got the, got the money and started the project and training uh, teachers, 800 Tamil teachers should be, would be in, in, in understanding that the education ministry would be installed in the uh, single schools uh, to, to teach uh, Tamil to single children. And there are about 300 uh, 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 single teachers. Uh, would, would be installed in the Tamil schools to teach uh, uh, single language Tamils. So I started that. But when this government came into power, they scrapped that uh, project away. They stopped it in all. So, but when, but, 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 but my dream is at least the single is new generation should be able to speak Tamil. Spoken language is more than enough. 
and sing, Tamil children should, Tamil children, they should speak single, a spoken language is more than enough. Then you can speak uh, English also. So when, when, when you speak the other language, because I am the, uh, because I am the model. I myself is a model. I am a trilingual person. When I went into parliament in 2001 first, I knew only the uh, helpmates of the singular. That's all. Then I, I decided on myself, uh, unless and until I learn my brotherly language, the singular language, I may not be able to understand the singlish mindset, the singlish psyche. I can speak to the singlish in the own languages, own language. Then I speak it to the address it to their heart, minds. Then I learned. Now I can write, I can read, I can speak. Isn't there, isn't there room, uh, Mr. Ganeshan, for, for the TPA to work with uh, the TNA uh, to collectively discuss and try to uh, push for solutions for the Tamils in the entire country? Yes, because now LTT is no more. So the dream for separate state is no more. And the idea of armed struggle is no more. Now, TNA being the biggest party in the northern eastern provinces, I officially announced that they are ready to live within one country. So the separate uh, journey is no more. I should make it clear. Therefore, it, the whole country matters to them also. The whole country matters to me also, my TP also. So we can work together. But we should work together. I, I, I already proposed made proposals for a long time. I've been making proposals for a uh, Tamils uh, parliamentarian uh, caucus when Tamil MPs of northern eastern provinces and the uh, southern in, uh, provinces uh, MPs coming together to caucus. Uh, first stage, second stage, we can bring in Muslim MPs also. And also, I, I also propose that we should also bring in singular progressive MPs who, who, have, who have great understanding of the Tamil issue as observers in the community. So this committee should, a uh, bipartisan committee, caucus and, uh, and, and forum should meet the government ministers, opposition minister, opposition uh, parliamentarians and the party leaders and go to Kandy, meet Mahanayaka Theros and all the opinion makers and try to impress upon the singlish community of the real issues of the Tamils. You see, in 40s, when the southern singlish leaders took the proposal for federalism to the northern, northern provinces, those leaders in the north Rejected it. You know that. Rejected it. They said, no, we'll strive, we'll fight for Purna Suvaraj. That means they said the whole country should be liberated from British colonialists. That's what they said. That's what they say. They reject, they said no to federalism. So now after that, if the Tamils have taken a, a, a U-turn, so there should be a reason. That should be understood by them. I'm not justifying the arms struggle, but Tamil youths were pushed to take up arms. They were cornered. When SJW Selvanayagam's agreements, both agreements with both great party leaders, the UNP leader as well as the SLP leaders, were torn away. So when, when the democratic parliamentary journey was uh, failed, it, 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 when it failed, when it was rejected, then they were pushed to take up arms. Even the moderates were cornered. When it, the moderates were humiliated. That's what happened. So these need to be discussed. I think new generation, new generation of single people, single young, youngsters will understand this. We will tell them. So that, 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 that was the idea of myself proposing for this Tamil, uh, Tamil MP caucus in the parliament of Sri Lanka. But unfortunately, TNA, uh, privately, all the MPs, when they talk to me, they understand. They say, yes, the good idea, we'll do that. But collectively, as a party, it does not come back for so, so many years. I've been telling this, even when I was the minister, the cabinet minister, I put off all the protocol away and said this, I'm a minister, but let us forget about that. We'll, ask, we'll, we'll meet, we'll come together as a caucus so that we'll take the message of Tamils with the Sri Lankan identity to the single community, but it didn't come. I mean, that's my answer to your question. There has been uh, reports of some friction between you and uh... M.A. Sumandiran, has, is this uh, the real block here? I don't know. I don't know. That you must ask Sumandiran. I have no, uh, <laughs> no, no differences with, uh, uh, no personal differences with anybody. 
Even my good friend, uh, he is my good friend. He's a useful, very talented, educated, um, needful a leader in the northern province. So we, I work together because now my idea is this: when there's when there's such any incident occur, I restrict that to that particular incident. I don't take that to the next incident, next next hour. That's all. That is that's all. That's my policy. I, I always conduct business with everybody, not only the, not only the Sumandran, even the MPs in the SLPP, the government party. All of my good friends, including the controversial Luan Ratpat, good friend, I issue. But when there's a mistake, there's an error, I speak straight. That's all. You mentioned that the young parliamentarians or young politicians sort of understand the real issues faced by the Tamils. I mean, is there is there room for people or for you to work with people like uh, Namal Rajapaksha and other uh, uh, young uh, Tamil, uh, sorry, young uh, MPs in the government uh, to sort of you know try to uh, look at the issues faced by the Tamils? Yes, I think there is an opening. Should say now. For example, on, on my side, on the SJP side, see, two days before I went to another professions. Those who those accompanied me were Dr. Carling uh, Kavinda Javardhana, the Gampa District MP, the son of my good friend Jala Javardhana, and uh, Rohana Bandara, the Anurad District MP, young, two young uh, SJP MPs. So they came with me. So when, when we went in there, so the, you know the issue, there was a the threat on the Tamil presence there, but we didn't go as uh, as, to, uh, as as in the case of looking at Tamil or Singhala Muslim prisoners. We, we just went there and went in there as look at the issues of the prisoners, the reported incident to inquire about it. We went there, so it's good there, good for them to come with me. I didn't go there, go in with DNA MPs for Tamil MPs, even my own party MPs. I didn't take them. I went with these two Singhalese MPs. So that shows how how the new generation is thinking of these issues. So they, 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 we, we were very keen on the um, uh, rule of law, a protection of uh, uh, prisoners, as how the uh, UN resident uh, uh, in Sri Lanka has uh, made a tweet that is uh, all of us are aware that the protection, the protection and the security of the uh, prisoners are the responsibility of the government. So we, we, we went on that basis. So that's uh, when you come back to your question, even Namal Rajabaksa minister, young minister, Okay, he, he has some uh, concerns for this. Uh, prisoners too. I'm starting with the same issue. When 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 I went there, yep, they when they made complaints about uh, uh, State Minister Lohan Ratpat, but they were very carefully uh, told all of us, to me and to my other uh, companions, other two MPs, that uh, Minister Namal Rajabas came in there, not to talk about that incident, but they he came in there with our for our incident. For now, in uh, invitation, so fine. He's concerned. Now I'm telling Namal Rajapaksa, please do something for these people. Enough is enough. Under Mati, Podum, I said. Any Podum, I said. That is enough is enough. Under Mati, release them. There are uh, prisoners who are serving there for oh, oh, over 20 years, not only under the Purup, but elsewhere, oh, totally 20, 25 years, who have been ruled out. So, they, oh, I mean, I mean it's, uh, under sentences, you can give, uh, uh, you can, you can give this presidential pardon. They have been given a large number of pardons now these days. You can give them. And there are others, the three segments. The second segment is the who are charge seated and facing court cases. You can give them bail. And the others are still under uh, investigations. I met one guy who, who was a spokesman for, the, for those prisoners there. I don't want to give the name, but he had been he had been arrested when he was 21. I mean, he's 34 years, still not charge sheeted, just still under under, under 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 detention order. He has been kept there. So, so these they are they are they are physically and mentally are very weak now. So let them go and live with their families, at least at this later later part of their um, lives. So. That will end the uh, uh, prisoners issue, Tamil prisoners issue. There was an opening. Recently, the, the government released 15 uh, uh, Tamil prisoners. So they were, they, some say they were to be released end of this year. I, I, I'm not talking politics. At least they, they, they released. During our ten, uh, during our ten years, our, our government has been released large number of, about over 50 um, uh, prisoners were released on bail or 
on rehabilitation program or government ruling, uh, so court rulings they released. It should be addressed. Now. So by that, I'm telling to you uh, to directly talking about talking to uh, Minister Namal Rajabaksa. Do that. Win the hearts and minds of the Tamil people, the community. Fine. I am not telling them to wait until we come to power. Wait until we form a government under Sajid Premadasa. Then we'll give, we'll, we'll address all the issues. No, not said to. I'm not so cheap politician. If there's opening here, let them do. Let them address. I will raise both my hands and support them. While where I'm being there, doesn't mean that I'm going to join the government. <laughs> You, you mentioned uh, Sajid Premadas, Mr. Ganesh, and there's, there's a lot of uh, criticism about Sajid Premadas as uh, leader of the opposition. Some see him as being weak, some see him as being uh, uh, one track minded. What is your take uh, on uh, Premadas? I mean, no, I know you probably can't criticize him uh, as uh, openly as you would want to, if at all, but what is your take on him? Now, Sajid is the most youngest uh, national leader in this country today. Apart from, from in comparison with uh, apart from uh, Namal Rajabaksa. So Namal Rajabaksa is not yet a leader of a party, but he's a leader of a party, leader of opposition. So he has more credentials behind him. And then he belongs to a new generation. I some of the criticisms against him are exaggerated or cooked up, I think I believe so. It is not so. He listens to us, he talks to us, discusses with us. They come out with his uh, decisions. There are shortcomings, obviously, yes. But you see, he, he, he had been made for uh, leader of a party only a couple of years before. He had been not uh, leading a party for, for decades. There are some, uh, some say uh, that uh, in, in, in the alliance, in the SAP, that he behaves like a dictator. Is that true? Anyway, he's not dictating me. I don't tolerate dictators. Anyway. And he is he, not dictating terms to me. So when I do things, I just keep keep uh, keep him informed. When I went to this under uh, um, other presence, the day of the morning when I was traveling, I called him and he kept him informed. I don't I I, I don't seek his, 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 his permissions. No, he is expecting me to get his permissions. It's not, it's not so. So that is that is the style the new uh, the, the, the politicians of new generation perform. Is is for that way. Maybe some fail to understand him the way before uh, he, he, he performed. So that that may be room that may give room to uh, some uh, misconceptions on him. I don't think so. But there are shortcomings, of course. I can't talk everything publicly. But he's slowly, steadily building himself to lead the country. He will do. Is he a is he a better leader than uh, uh, your former leader Ranil uh, Vikramasinghe? Now, Ranil Vikram Singh is a different stock. Sajid is of different stock. We can't compare the different stocks uh, <laughs> and put in one basket and see. He has his uh, negatives and positives. Similarly, he also has his negatives and positives. But he is a younger generation leader. But the SJB, I am not a member of SJB. I am part of SJB Alliance. So SJB need to put this own next together. Like there, there need to be the, the, the senior leaders of the SJB, that is including Sajid Premadasa, and then again uh, um, PCR, Patel Champkiranavaka, and Sarat Fonseca, Ranjit Madhu Bandara, Kabir Rasin, and uh, uh, Harsha De Silva, uh, Iran Vikramaratna. All these people come, should come together. This is this Satanayaka, should come together. They will come together. Harry Fernando, not willing, not forgetting about him. So young, young, young leader. So all a leader. He let them work as a team. I think Sajid should work as a team. I think he is working as a team. He is beginning to work as a team. That is that is important. So when we, uh, Rao Hakim and uh, my good friends, Mr. Badudin and myself, and with it with me, Mr. Digambaram and Radha Krishnan, we are as my, my minority party leaders. We'll work with them. There's no issue. But 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 that doesn't mean our future. Is always linked to SJB only. If SJB fails, you will seek elsewhere. That's natural. There are justification for that. And, and Mr. Anur Kumar Sanai, the SJB leader is my, my closest friend in the parliament. We always discuss, we always exchange views. He has a new vision. 
Are you are you saying I, that I, uh, I, you are willing I, to I, work I, with uh, Anukumar Dilsanai or maybe even join or form an alliance with the JVP if the SJP fails? Yes, JVP, JVP already has his alliance. Has his alliance. We have exchanged views. Who knows what will happen? We have three or two or three more years for the next presidential elections. Let's see how it is. So maybe we all get together and build up a grand alliance. And not forgetting about Anil Vikram Singh, former prime minister, former our alliance leader. I speak to him also. I, I am in talking terms with everybody. Even, even people in the, in the government, they speak to me. I just now, a little while ago, I spoke to Dinesh Gunavardhan, the education minister, who is the chairman of the select committee of the electoral reform. It's a very important issue. Just spoke to him. So we, we have a friendly uh, rapport with each other. That's no issue. Let's talk about uh, India's uh, role on Sri Lanka, Mr. Ganesh, and you've been engaging with uh, the Indian government uh, consistently in the past. Uh, do you think that India has failed to uh, really push for a solution in Sri Lanka and ensure a permanent solution uh, on the Tamil issue? Yeah, yes and no. Indian policy on Sri Lanka, or India's Sri Lanka policy has failed. I have told this to the Indian diplomats here. The High Commissioner and also the, uh, I, I remember I told this to uh, External Affairs Minister Jay Shankar when he was here sometime some years before as the Secretary of the External Affairs Ministry. I told you. So, Indian uh, Sri Lanka policy has failed. So, India need to redo that, reconstruct that. And uh, uh, there, there, there need to be a, a situation where win win situation between India. Sri Lanka and Tamil community here. Tamil should win. Sri Lanka should win as a whole. India should win. You all you, uh, compile a policy which, which could bring a win 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 for all of us. That is nothing, uh, they, 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 there, there is not a possibility for that. India is our closest neighbor. Indian economy is booming. Let's forget about this COVID situation, but it is booming. Indian middle class. Market is the biggest market, such market in the, in the whole world. The whole world is eyeing, eyeing on it. The buying power is great. So we should work with India and produce, manufacture goods in Sri Lanka and export it to India. And at least we can obtain a portion of the Indian uh, middle class market, maybe in southern states. It will be great. It will create lots of employment here. Already the, the, the Colombo port the, the successful port in Sri Lanka, only successful port in Sri Lanka, commercial port. It is run by Indian transshipment that is hidden fact. The fact is not uh, uh, well known in Sri Lanka. India has failed to um, uh, market it. So give you explanations. For so many years, the, the, that's a fact is that, uh, that uh, called Colombo Harbour is uh, successful because of Indian transshipment. The large ships come to Colombo Harbor and drop out the containers and go. Then Indian uh, small ships come and collect them and go. So that is the, that is the giving us of revenue. With that revenue, only other ports of Sri Lanka are being run. But 70 to 70, 75 percent. So India is already helping us. All what is available in Sri Lanka, I mean culturally, uh, traditionally, all of all of somewhat Indian. All of us in Sri Lanka had arrived from the Indian mainland at different times, most of us. But when I say Indian, it is not the India, India of today, the Indian mainland in centuries before. The, the language, the music, the culture, the religions. Has, has the government India. Uh, hurt Indian sentiments by siding uh, or aligning more towards uh, China? Yes. That's very unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Certain personal relationship with China, uh, certain politicians who employ certain personal relationship, friendship with China is the uh, root cause for this uh, unfortunate situation. I'm all, I, I, I also tell it to China because China, India, and Sri Lanka can live together. As I said, is Sri Lanka, India, and Tamil community can live together. Win-win. Like China, India, 
And Sri Lanka also can formulate a policy of win, 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 win. I am telling the government of Sri Lanka to bring, uh, take an effort to bring peace between China and India. Because at the end of the day, we are all Asians, part of Asia, big part of Asia. Now, since India and China are at unofficial war, always India, northeastern border, I don't want to see that, that war occurring in Sri Lankan soil. Why should we have that war here? Now, Kalabha port city has been being administered by China. And there are certain islands in the northern peninsula, very close to the Indian border, southern border, is being uh, offered to China for various projects. So, Sri Lanka is a sovereign state, independent country. We can make our own decisions. But that doesn't mean we should antagonize the uh, large neighbor. That is India. It's like similar to the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis in 1960s. When Cuba was a communist country, which had, which had, had, had what with USA. So that made them to go, go get closer with Soviet Union during those period that under the uh, Cold War uh, era. They tried to install missiles in Cuba. Then the American, Americans said enough is enough. And it, 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 that the situation reached, until, reached to the verge of the Third World War. Then at the end of the day, the international community intervened, UN intervened, and the missiles were taken away. Because USA had its legitimate national security concerns. Since Cuba is an independent sovereign state, they can't antagonize the uh, large uh, neighbor. Similarly, similarly, what is Cuba to USA is Sri Lanka to India. So we have to work together, sit together, discuss together without antagonizing. I'm talking about in the interest of Sri Lanka, as a Sri Lanka, not as a member of the uh, SJB Alliance. I'm not that cheap, small. My mind's abroad. Um, I, I want to go back to what you mentioned earlier about uh, the TPA uh, not ruling out working with the JVP if the need arises. Uh, is that option also there with the government? Is the TPA willing to work with the government to address uh, issues faced by the Tamils? No, no. I also made reference to Minister Ramal Rajabaksa. I don't know what is in his mind, but he has expressed at various uh, occasions his concern for uh, for Tamil community, concern for Tamil political prisoners, uh, concern for uh, living together with Tamils as Sri Lankans. It's fine. So those are the small openings. We don't see any large, big openings here in the government. So uh, as for Minister Namal Rajabas, if he does anything positively to win over the minds and arts of the Tamil community, I will, we will support from TPA, while from where we are here. That doesn't mean that we'll have to go ahead and join the government. Not necessary. They have enough Tamils there already. They have Mr. Pillayan, Mr. Uh, Vyalendran, Mr. Thundaman, and those parties are there. And by, why not I, my good friend and Douglas Devananda is there. They have enough Tamils there. We don't have to be there. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm personally not going to last into politics for many years. So that's it, I say. So, but there are no openings, as I say, this answer to the questions on the government side. Small openings. Right, Mr. Ganeshan, we'll have to uh, leave it at that. Uh, thank you for taking time to join us on this discussion. Uh, and uh, to our viewers, we uh, hope you will join us again for our next uh, program. Till then, stay safe and uh, have Yeah, a thank time. you. It's always uh, uh, it's a pleasure to talk to DM and uh, to you, Isran. Nice talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank Bye -bye. you.